Hello, I'm Dr. Dylan Foster. This is the About Me section. So I'm gonna talk a little bit about me. Um, why I do what I do, why I'm here with Post Chemo Nutrition, why I've devoted my life to helping people get their lives back. And I'm a little non-mainstream, if you will, but with what I do at Post Chemo Nutrition, I've designed it to tie in with mainstream treatments and protocols for cancer um, via chemotherapy and radiation therapy after you're done with treatments, not during and not before. So anyways, bottom line is I went to college and I learned that chiropractic was the way for me to go. Um, it wasn't what I thought it was gonna be, but I ended up discovering that that was a big part of what I wanted to become because chiropractors talk about uh, tapping in for the body's own ability to heal itself. And that's what I really loved and resonated with. Well, as I got into chiropractic back in 1997, uh, that's when I graduated, um, I realized that nutrition played a bigger role than I thought. Yes, we learned a lot about nutrition, but I needed to learn a lot more. So I got into what's called functional medicine. Functional medicine is about diseases. It's about how to address the cause, not treating the symptom. So my favorite analogy is, say, say someone has a door and they shut their finger in the door. It slams on their finger, okay? So traditional medicine's approach, how they approach stuff like this is, oh man, your finger hurts. Let's give you some painkiller, some opioids, some Advil. Oh, it's getting infected because it's starting to bleed and there's so much pressure. Well, let's give you some antibiotics. Now that's kind of in a nutshell what the allopathic or medical model is like. Now the natural model through my functional medicine training is saying, okay, something is harming your finger. Oh, it's a door shut on it. Let's open the door and get the pressure off. Now you still may need to treat any infections and help your pain level while it's healing, but now it can heal. And that's what we do as functional medicine doctors. So I did functional medicine from about 2005 and until, well now, <laughs> since 2005, I guess. So what I found is I was doing functional medicine, my research has shown me that, because we deal with all major autoimmune issues and digestive issues and autoimmune related issues. Um, but one of those issues that we do deal with and relate with is cancer. And what had happened was, is I started seeing so many patients that had gone through cancer treatments and they were considered cancer survivors, but they felt like garbage. They felt terrible. They didn't want to even be alive anymore. Um, and then one day I had a patient come to me that I had seen for about a year and I was just doing a talk in my office and she, she basically said, she said, Dr. Foster, why isn't there anybody helping us cancer survivors? And that kind of hit me, it made me realize, that's a good question. She goes, you've worked on me and you've changed my life around. Before you, I didn't even want to be on this planet anymore. And she goes, but because of the things you've done and helped me with, I feel great. And she goes, I went, and I won't say the names, but she goes, I went to some of the top, and she had a lot of money, so she was able to do the best of the best for what they considered money, you know, in healthcare. But she said, I went to some of the top oncology clinics and seen some of the best doctors on this planet. And once they were done with me and they got me through my cancer, but they just literally just like kicked me out the door. They were done with me. They didn't give me any advice, any help, any nutrition. They didn't do anything to get me feeling better. They just said I was cancer free, which is great, but why isn't there anybody helping people like me? And at that point, it made me realize I need to do that. So at, at, after that, I decided I got certified. I went and did more, more postdoctoral training into nutritional oncology. So I did thousands of hours in that. And just, I just kept researching and researching and learning and learning. And I started finding that there's one major premise that happens when somebody's done with chemotherapy or radiation therapy. And that is, is that they have an extremely depleted level of mitochondrial function. And that doesn't seem and sound like much, it, you know, mitochondria make ATP, you remember that from school, right? But it's significant. When the mitochondria is depleted, what ends up happening is your body doesn't have energy to, to move, to function. It's like my, my favorite analogy, analogy is you can have this amazing million dollar Lamborghini or Ferrari and it's, it's, it's beautiful, but there's no engine in it. It's not gonna move anywhere. That's the mitochondria. The mitochondria are the engine and they make the fuel. So even if you get the engine, if there's no fuel, it's not gonna move. The fuel is your ATP. 
So I found it's actually a two-part issue, is that there's no mitochondrial function, or low, I should say, and also there's so much inflammation going on from all the damage from what people have been through with chemotherapy and radiation therapy that they can't feel good anymore, and they can't get the nutrients into the cell. So what I found is I needed a way to basically use my knowledge and training to find all the nutrients I can find that really reduce that inflammation and in conjunction with that get those nutrients back into the cell to restore the mitochondrial function. And what I found is when you can do that, reduce inflammation and restore the mitochondrial function, you're going to feel better. I mean it's really that simple. The problem is there's so many nutrients and everybody's different on what they may or may not need that I just, it was challenging because I didn't know what to do, I'll be honest with you, without doing lab work and seeing everybody in person. But my research kept showing me study after study that certain nutrients really work for more people than not. So I decided I'm just gonna make a very simple, easy to take AM and PM packet kit called Cell Revive that has all your major nutrients in it that provide all those necessary components to get somebody feeling better again. So as I've added those and made it simple, Ultimately, the goal is to get you feeling better or your loved one. And as we do that, it's actually a couple of steps that are involved. So one is you get those nutrients and inflammation in and down. And then the other one is I have what's called bind detox. Bind detox is a very, again, it's, it's, I've done tons of research and there's a lot of great detoxing supplements out there, but I didn't want a great one. You've been through a great ordeal that is at the extreme level, so we need an extreme detoxing supplement. So what I found is Bindetox is exactly what I had to formulate and make that can help pull the toxins out, grab them, pull them down through the intestines, attach them in the intestines and pull them out your body. So you're not stuck with getting them either pulled out and reabsorbed or not pulled out or just moved around. Too many things happen in not such a good way when we're not doing it properly. And that's why I developed Bindetox. So it's restore cell function, get those inflammation levels down, get those toxins, all the radiation that's left over, all those chemotherapy agents left over, get them just soaked up and get them out. So this is a little bit of a process, but I try to make my supplements designed so it's not a lifetime process. And ultimately my goal is to get you feeling better, but again, there are a lot of variables based on diet, lifestyle, exercise habits, how much water you drink, believe it or not, plays a major role. Are you constipated, not constipated? Um, you don't want to be constipated, by the way, because things work a lot better if you're not. So that's me in a nutshell about why I'm here and why I do what I do. So I hope if you have any questions, you feel free to contact us here at Post Chemo Nutrition. But ultimately, I want you and your loved ones to feel and get better and live as a cancer thriver, not a survivor. So God bless, and I look forward to hearing from you soon.